Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Radiant Moon Tarot. My name is Victoria. We've got your daily reading here for Wednesday, September 11th of 2024. So Wednesdays, if you're new to my channel, we do a thing called Midweek Motivation. We're not trying to predict the energies of the day. We're just open to whatever messages or insight that the universe wants to send your way, bringing you some positivity, some motivation, some advice, some wisdom, whatever it happens to be. By the very nature, these readings are timeless because we're not trying to do predictions today. Um, we're just carrying forward uh, messages for you. Um, so whenever this happens to find you is when it is relevant for you. We have Earth energy here with Rocky the Rack. Coon. All right. Now this is the everyday, which is familiar card and raccoons are known for being very resourceful, aren't they? Um, they're very articulate. Uh, they are opportunists, right? They take advantage of any opportunity to find the resources that they need to uh, feed their family, to stay alive. So this could certainly be a day where you're carrying forward the raccoon energy to find the resources that you need in your 3D realm to build the life you want, to get things done, um, to, you know, put money in the bank and food on the table, right? If there's something that you've been trying to do and you've just been feeling a little bit lost, today is the day that uh, the raccoon energy could certainly help you in that regard. But a little bit of creativity, resourcefulness, cleverness, and maybe since the raccoon wears a mask, right, the mask bandit there, maybe you need to be a little bit stealthy and operate undercover. Not necessarily to do anything uh, nefarious by any means, but sometimes we do need to operate under the cover of darkness, right? Sometimes we don't necessarily always want to share with everyone around us what we're doing, feeling, thinking, or trying out, right? Because sometimes we just don't want anyone else to stand in our way, or maybe you're worried about that. Right. And especially something like in the workplace, if you've got some really big idea, um, you know, maybe you just don't feel like sharing it, um, you know, with other people at the moment until you kind of get a presentation put together or that all important email put together to send out to the boss or something like that, because there could be someone around you that is notorious for taking credit for other people's work or just blatantly stealing ideas, right? So beware the masked mask bandit today. The raccoon is giving you a little bit of a warning. But in this energy as well, you're being encouraged to stay grounded and really connect with the earth in some way today. And whether that is going through the forest, maybe going for a starlit walk at night, uh, that's always uh, a little bit of different energy at nighttime, right? Um, it's a little bit cooler, number one. I don't know if you've got infernal heat where you are, but uh, whew, man, I'm I'm ready for some cooler weather. I'm ready for autumn. I'm ready for some frost on the ground. Um, but uh, nighttime energy, uh, going for a walk outside is a little bit a little bit different, um, you know. But uh, take your dog for a walk in a different part of the neighborhood. Um, you know, connect with plants or uh, animals or something, right? Just something that is connected to the earth to keep you grounded and maybe even to keep you focused. So you can work your magic and get done or do what you need to do. We have the thicket of thorns here for you guys as well. And this is uncertainty. So this can be uh, where we hesitate a little bit. Um, there's a little bit of a question mark in the air for us here. And so sometimes when we are not sure, we don't know which path to take. We don't know how to get started on something. We don't know how to approach a subject. Um, we don't know how to make change, right? Change is a, a tricky little thing. And uh, sometimes it's all a matter of getting started, right? But sometimes we feel a little bit lost. So if you feel a little bit lost in the forest, again, this is where raccoon spirit energy can really help you to ground your energy, to um, maintain a little bit of focus or to recognize the power within to find the answers that you do seek. Sometimes we need to uh, look a little bit deep. Um, the thicket of, thicket of thorns represents that there could be some uh, something sudden, something unexpected or something sharp 
that you're dealing with, maybe a little bit, something a little bit painful, right? Change can be painful for some people, especially if you're like a fixed sign, right? Um, you know, um, sometimes what happens is we work through some pain and then we emerge on the other side, renewed, reborn. We feel like ourselves again, or we feel like a completely new person again, right? So this is a time of, um, it may be a time of uncertainty, but it's also a time of blossoming, of growth. And of moving forward into the future. And we do have some prickly peri energy going on, right? We've got Uranus retrograde. We've got Pluto retrograde. That one's in Capricorn. That's closing out a massive chapter, a massive cycle um, for, uh, for humanity, for the collective. It's the last time that Pluto will ever be in the sign of Capricorn in our lifetimes, right? Very slow planet, right? A couple hundred years. Um, it, it takes to, to move through signs, right? So talk about slow. And so there could be a final closing of a chapter of a door that you're working towards. Um, maybe it's been something lingering for a long time. Maybe it's something that you're just now seeing the light, right? And it may not be the easiest path that you're following there. And you don't know what's lying on the other side. All you know is that something's got to change. Something's got to give. I've got to work through the challenges and, you know, and the, the difficulties that, um, this brings. But all you know is that there's something better aligned for you on the other side. So we don't always have all the answers to everything. We don't always, um, we're not always able to see something in the future, right? We can get a good idea. Um, we can certainly make some plans, but, you know, the universe quite often does throw us a little bit of a curveball, right? And so whatever your situation happens to be, trust your instincts, all right? Sometimes um, the path forward is led by our intuition and not necessarily by logical thought. Because our intuition ultimately, in a lot of cases, defies logic. And it's just a matter of trust. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Trust how something feels. And if you're feeling that tug, if you're feeling something pulling at you, right, or pushing you <laughs> in a certain direction, but it doesn't feel wrong. Maybe it makes you feel uncomfortable. Maybe it's a little bit scary, but it doesn't feel wrong. It feels right. Follow that path. Because it will lead you into some wonderful things. And we've got the sun shining on those thorns. So you may be coming out of a fog of uncertainty and you're about to get some clarity. Or maybe the answers and, you know, the what the future looks like isn't clear to you for a reason right now. But trust yourself that you're making the right moves, making the right decisions. And sometimes I said to my neighbor just the other day, cause she, uh, uh, you know, she, um, went through a relationship shakeup and, um, you know, now she's, you know, she's like selling her condo and this, and she's like, Oh my God, she goes, I'm starting over. And I said, you know, cause I've been there, right. I've been there, sold, sold my house before and, eh, you know, things got very expensive in the meantime. Right. But the thing is there is that sometimes the path to bliss is an empty bank account, right? Um, so it's like holding on to those material things sometimes is not our path to happiness, right? So sometimes we do need to let things go, even though they do put us in a position of uncertainty and do put us in a position where we just, we don't know where this is going to go. All we know is it's better than where we are. So big kind of university life changing questions coming up. And like I said, at the beginning of this reading, the Wednesday um, midweek motivation, they are, uh, they're timeless, right? However, at the time that I do this reading, we are really, really starting to come into some big eclipse energy. This is um, uh, September 17th, 2024 is when we've got a big uh, super moon lunar eclipse. And we're feeling this energy now. And of course, with those outer planet retrogrades going on as well, there's some big shakeups and some big question marks that are going on. And so we do need to open up and we do need to trust the process um, and ultimately trust ourselves, right? It's like, I don't know where I'm going to go. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get there. 
I just know that this feels right. And so some big, big, big decisions that you may be making. But ultimately, better times ahead. So let's get some more cards out here for you. I'm getting the uh, very animal-y today. I'm very getting the wisdom of the owls or the tarot of the owls. This always confuses me what the name is because the book, it, the book inside, the big fat book, is uh, called one thing and the tarot deck is called another. So um, we have the king of cups. Beautiful. Follow your heart. Listen to your intuition. Trust you'll succeed. The queen of swords. Make those decisions, right? You know, you know that you have the wisdom that it takes. And we've got the three of pentacles. Remember on your path forward, you're not always in it alone. There's other people. Three of pentacles. Um, it is about creation. It is about seeing the results of your labor. It is seeing some effects and, uh, you know, of what you've been doing, all the hard work. It's starting to pay off and you're starting to see things happen. Um, it is also one of teaching and learning, right? Um, whether we learn from other people or we can be a guide for other people, right? Sometimes we need to ultimately ask for help and assistance. And the Three of Pentacles is teamwork and collaboration, but it's also creation. So sometimes on our path to creating the life that we want, we do need to rely on other people or we do need to ask for help or maybe we need to brainstorm a little bit to see things come together. But we do have the King of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So number one, this is a balanced energy between masculine and feminine. And remember the universe, the laws of the universe, it's made up of balance, right? We've got yin and yang, masculine, feminine. We've got giving, receiving, right? We've got the good and the bad, right? And everything has this equilibrium here. So in this energy here, the King of Cups, the Queen of Swords, masculine and feminine, really um, finding that balance in our life. And that really does help us create the life that we want. The King of Cups can also represent you taking the lead, taking charge, knowing that you will succeed. It's following your heart, very intuitive energy that comes out there with that. But it's it's this more um, masculine vibe of going for it, right? I'm going to go for this thing and I know that whatever my situation is, I'll come out on top, right? So it's like you're being given the message to believe in yourself, to be confident, and to know whatever happiness, whatever bliss, whatever success looks like to you, it is attainable for you. The Queen of Swords, you might need to make some difficult decisions as you go along. And the Queen of Swords, number one, is that feminine receiving energy. So we've got the virile, masculine, go-getter energy. But then we've also got the calmer, more open, more in the flow, feminine energy there, right? Balance. But the Queen of Swords is an energy of having focus and clarity. But it is also one of being able to trust your wisdom, trust your intuition to make those difficult decisions, to put up those boundaries in your life, to help navigate through change and kind of keep your emotions in check while you're doing so. Um, it also does focus on cl crystal clear communication. So whether that's internal within you, right, the, the things you tell yourself, whether it's the communication that you have with others, right? Teamwork, collaboration, communication, all those kind of things, right? Or whether it's those conversations that you have with the universe, with your higher self, right? Um, it is a very communicative energy. So keep the lines of communication open on all levels because whether you're receiving information or guidance or maybe you're in a position to give it because the Queen of Swords is very wise, very intelligent, and we do have the three of pentacles where you might actually be following a path, following a calling to help other people in some way, to guide other people in some way, to impart your wisdom um, and your knowledge on other people um, as well. Right. And so quite often that three of pentacles, we've got someone in a leadership role, someone in a teaching role and giving information, guidance or instruction to others. So maybe part of your path forward does involve part of your calling part of your soul purpose is to help others in some way but this is also you know about finding the right people to partner up with right the people who can you can collaborate with right and the people who can you can communicate with in a positive way the people who you can create something 
wonderful with that king of cups energy very cre very creative um energy there but also very like i'm feeling the warm fuzzies kind of thing so you know keep that heart space open for the potential to really partner up with people who dig your vibe people who are on your wavelength and this can be your path to success for the future right and this could be some doors that are potentially opening up for you in the future there as well some of you could be meeting new people. Keep the door open for that also. All right. Having said all that, folks, I'm going to leave all that there. Okay. Um, I hope there was something here for you. Uh, sometimes Wednesdays we kind of go a little bit deep or on a little bit of a tangent. And we did a little bit here today, but that's okay. It's just part of the energies that are going on. A lot of cleansing, a lot of purging, a lot of realigning going on here. So not too surprising there. But I hope there was something here for, for you, um, even if it was just a little bit of so please like, share, subscribe. I hope you guys do have a wonderful day. I thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.